Hello, welcome to this channel. In this channel, we talk about how to master, um, how to master anything you read, and also we talk about speed reading. We teach students also um, how to read very fast, how to concentrate, how to um, uh, create an environment that enables you to read very fast, um, and also then we talk about mental maths. But in this video, I'm going to talk about. Uh, the question that I always get from many students asking me hey can you also apply speed reading on reading novels literature okay and that's why uh, that's what I want us to talk about in this video so speed reading can be applied anywhere speed reading you can apply um, your reading skills in any aspect you can do that you can use speed reading skills to read newspaper very fast you can use the skill to read your normal you know um course books very fast you can read you can use the same to even learn a new language so there's no there's no limit to speed reading you can use it to learn anything um and now um our main focus is literature today uh while for you to understand or for you to read literature, there are also some aspects that you really have to understand. Now I'm going to talk about some few elements of literature that you have to take in consideration when you want to speed read any literature. That means like any novel. The first thing we're going to talk about then the plot. So you have to be aware of the plot. That is like the, uh, the difficult, uh, different events or a series of events that is going to that's taking place inside the novel so you have to understand what is the plot what are the series of events taking place in the novel as long as you know that one you are now better off to speed read the second thing you're going to look at is the theme the theme of whatever you of the novel so that's always the main idea behind uh, the novel that you're reading Okay, could be about corruption, could be about uh, capitalism, the theme could be about um, colonialism and all the things. But the theme is now the main idea behind, behind the literature. Then the second thing we're going to look at, the philosophy. So the philosophy is just like a system of ideas that governs, uh, that you will find, you know, governing uh, the, the, the novel that's used to actually, you know, so you realize that there's some philosophy behind uh, any novel that you read. And that's just like a system of ideas that then governs the way the novel is written. Then the second thing we're going to look at, the characters, characters development. How are the characters behaving, the protagonists and antagonists? How are they, you know, how are they developed or how are they behaving or interacting with, with each other? So you look at the characters, you want to know who are the main characters here, who are the, uh, the, the minor characters, and how do they relate with each other. Are they related? Are they, is it a family setup? Is it uh, the people who doesn't know each other? So character development is, very, is key. Then comes then the setting. So setting also of, of uh, the literature or novel becomes, plays a bigger role. So for example, um, as um, someone who is interest in understanding the novel you understand you also understand like the environment and the time where the novel is being produced uh, is being is uh, the, the way the novel is written so for example if the novel the novel brings you to a point where you have for example there's a desert there's no water the sun is scorching you know the scorching sun is so that also has a symbolism which also is another aspect of that symbolizes something you have to understand okay what is the setting what's the weather where exactly is this happening is it at, at close to the ocean what's the view is it some somewhere close to a valley what does what does the valley represent what does the ocean represent what does um, um, desert represent when you're looking at literature and after that we have what is called uh, we have the tone of of the novel, so what's the tone? Is it scary? Is it is it something that is it is the tone kind of calm? Is it melancholic? So what's the tone? What's the tone? Then the next one we're looking at when you're reading um, novel 
is the standpoint of the author so what is the standpoint of the novel do they are they pro for example if the theme is about capitalism is it are they pro capitalism or are they against contra if it's about are they what's the standpoint are they against the way they describe everything in the novel do you have assumption that they are against or they are pro are they neutral are they pitying the others so what's their standpoint do they agree with what's happening do they don't they, they don't agree with what's happening so those are also very important okay so um that is those are some few aspects of or elements of literature literature that as a speed reader you want to really um adhere to or look at before um you speed read also after speed reading you can also go back and say okay can i understand i want to understand the literature well i want to understand the novel well who are the main characters what's the standpoint what is the what was the plot uh where was the setting and what does that actually mean okay so those are the stuff that i wanted to share with you thank you so much for listening and be blessed bye bye